guys, this is Matt Beck from FreeSalonEducation.com and we have Brian Hare here. We're gonna give him a haircut. We're gonna kind of create a, a pompadour uh, with his curly wave. So what we're gonna do is just go in with the clipper, then we're gonna do scissor over comb a little bit, and then we're gonna work wet on the top. So we've got it blown dry, it's washed, it's clean right now, but then, so after I get done with the clipper work, then I'm gonna go through with the scissor. So we're gonna start off, we're gonna use a three and a half blade. Cause I want to start with my, I want to start with my longest blade first. So um, I'm going to work with a three and a half. That'll take me right up to the kind of the recession point here uh, and along the parietal ridge. I'm not going to go all the way up to the parietal. Um, so just kind of working just up to that edge where that hairline is there. I'm going to start off with our three and a half. I'm not too worried about this hair here cause I'm going to go in with a shorter guard in that point. We're just rocking that blade out. I want to get this longer hair out of the way. And we'll just work that three and a half right along. I'm going to follow the curve of the head right there with this guarded blade so that I kind of get that natural curve in. There should be kind of a natural shadow. I'm going to go in and take that out again, scissor over comb though. So. I'm going to work halfway up. So halfway up to where I was. Shouldn't see too much of a line during this because the blades are very close in length. But it's just going to give it a nice little gradation and blend in there. And that's going to be the final blade that we use. I'm not trying to go super tight with this one. I'm just going to work the edges and leave it at that. Then I get that part done. Now I'm gonna go through, I wanna grab a longer barbering scissor. So I'll look for something more around the 6.5, seven inch range. 
and we can go in and just blend this. So we'll start, I'm going to start on the other side on the temple. And all I'm doing is taking out basically just the parietal ridge area. And then the rest of it I'm going to cut wet. I just want to create a blend here. I'm using a wider tooth comb. That's going to allow me to um, just have less tension so I'm not pulling the hair all over the place. That'll, that one doesn't help me create any lines in there. If you see little spaces, sometimes you might see um, little kind of gaps in movement. He's got a small little dent right here in his head. So what that does is it makes the hair a little bit longer. So it creates almost what looks like a patch of longer hair. It's not, but just the density is different. So you're going to see, and technically the hair I guess is longer, but you're going to see that kind of shadowing in there because of the dent. So it's good. That's why I like using scissors because the clipper would run right over that uh, like it did. So scissors just help you with the detail work. So instead of doing this whole entire thing with scissors, which would take you a long time, you can go in with the clippers, then go through with the scissors and finalize everything. I do enjoy spending extra time on a men's cut. I don't like doing it in just 15 minutes and getting them out. But, you know, in the same sense, you do need to make some money too. So it's good to have techniques that are going to speed up your time. And I think that this is one of them. Just working with the clipper around the base and then going in with your scissors, fine tuning it. And I want to go deeper with Brian's part just because he does kind of, his hair grows back further here. So, <laughs> is that an easy way to put it? So we're going to go in and just do a little bit deeper parting and then push the hair over. I like that. Kind of fills in just a little bit of the gap, makes a smoother line around. And the one request with him was to make sure that we leave the top a little bit longer. And um, in the pompadour, we definitely want to do that. The, the most important thing here is just to create a nice clean edge in the haircut. So I'm going to keep that hair parted. I'm just going to scissor over comb. Get out of the way. Just picking it up with my comb and cutting it. And I just want to make sure that this line is balanced here. So you can see as I comb it down, it's got a little bit of a bounce to it. So I'm just going to keep working through until I get a nice solid edge on there. Then I'm going to take one more section and this is where I think it's cool because it'll give me a little bit of a weight line but now I can hold it in my hand here and I'm going to cut my first line. So using that slight bit of graduation as my, my guideline. And then I'm going to bring the rest of his hair to that. 
So what this is going to do is push the weight heavier in the center, but it's going to give it a nice gradual effect to get to that point. So um, we're removing the weight, which would be sitting off this edge. So you can see how it's building up that weight. But as soon as we part it back over this way, it'll collapse nice and lay really nice. So just working my way through. And you're probably going to run out of hair at this point. So we'll leave that longest point right in the center. Clean up the front just a little bit. Like any haircut, even though we're going to leave this top long, we want to make sure that it's nice and clean, cleaned up. So you can see how that line looks. Well, when it gets pushed over, it blends really nice together. All right, so we have the edge here. Again, I just want to blend that in. So take your scissor, a little scissor over comb. Blend, and what we're doing is basically creating our guideline. So now I can take a parting, bring it over in my hand. I'm going to work this line here into that graduated line right at the parietal all the way across. So you can see that line there. Another parting, bring it over to me. Not much to work with now. So now I know it'll be blended when I when it comes back over. So we've got that. Now I want to go through just in the center portion here. And I'm just going to take clean sections across the head. You should see that point there. So I want to connect them, the edge. So this is the hair that didn't make it over. And I'm just going to connect. I'm not too worried about this being perfect at this point. You could even go through and point cut this part if you want to. I like it to have a little bit more of a precision clean clean look for this haircut. Plus Brian has a little bit curly hair, so it's fun when all the hair falls uniform because you can push it into more curl formations and uh, different things like that. So. so we're just working short to long. Working down the fingers, across the head. And when we get to the front here, biggest difference in this part is we're going to over direct it back so that he doesn't lose the length in the front because that will help push it up and pop it up in the front. Same on this side. So now that'll give him a little pop, and a nice clean, clean look. So. So we're just going to use the T-trimmer, and I want to make this more of a natural hairline. So I'm just going to work with the T-trimmer up, follow his hairline. So I'm working with the trimmer backwards. Trimmer over comb here just to blend the edge. 